The Kumau Himalayas suffered an extreme dry spell in the early months of 2021. The higher than expected temperatures in March made the hills vulnerable to forest fires. Fires are not new to the forests of Uttarakhand. The State Forest Department even has a period dubbed as the fire season. Every year, they start around mid-February and continue till the end of May. But in 2020, they started as early as October and ravaged almost 1,300 hectares of rich, biodiverse forests. The mountain state waited desperately for spring showers. Finally, late April, a night of generous rain came as a magical respite. Spring arrived in all its glory. Popularly known as the Munshiari region, the Gori River Valley is tucked in the northeastern corner of the Kumau Himalay. Spring replenishes the landscape, and all creatures get busy in making the most of the short season. For those building a nest, material must be gathered, neatly rolled up, and carried to the site. Some prefer to carve out their homes and everybody plans their day around finding food. Down in the valley, the river flows as low as 600 meters above sea level, with signs of life sprouting and spawning everywhere. Upstream, above 2,000 meters, a hot favorite of the season is rhododendron. One of the largest flowering plants in Asia, their delicate buds need spring showers to bloom. The blooms bring sweet nectar to the menu. So popular that bees get drunk on it. Rhododendrons are hardy plants. South-facing slopes with high rainfall, humidity and sunlight are ideal. But they're equally happy in higher and colder altitudes. With a little sun and plenty of rain or snow, they can thrive. <laughs> Uttarakhand hosts six of the 80 species of rhododendrons found in India. But they're a critical site for resting and feasting. The yellow-throated martin hurries to partake in a feast as his partner relishes the last of a full bloom, the ripe fruits of the rhododendron the sap from the bark and nourishing nectar. The seasonal treat must be devoured. The yellow-throated martins often forage and hunt as a pair. Spring is a much-awaited time for Roy Lee's pika. The winter reserves have run out and the hay piles need to be stocked up. They rejoice in the bounty of the season while being always on high alert. After all, they're not the only ones hungry. As the elevation increases, rhododendrons get stunted, but remain a source of nourishment in the alpine meadows of Kumau. These pastures are carpeted with soft grass and wildflowers in the season. 
fresh nourishment for threatened species like the Himalayan gorals and the elusive Himalayan musk deer. In places of extreme weather, replenishment is a serious business. And after a harsh winter, spring is the time to revive, restore and rebuild before the summer sets in. Thank you.